Sharon, would you feel that President Trump is a role model? For me? My goodness, no. Um, I thought I'd just get it going a little but, bit. But, you know, I, I think the way to deal with this is, is to, to really face the fact that the rise of the alpha male yes. has unleashed a wave of misogyny that's not new. Mm. I mean, Sherry and I were part of a generation, if mm. I can be that uh, uh, bold, Sherry, that actually put in place... We fought for us, a very young woman in the 70s, but we fought for the legislation, the sex discrimination commissioners, the, you know, the rule of law, the, the reporting of businesses. But what we didn't do was fight the silence. And that allowed a power of intimidation and bullying that's mm -hmm. perpetuated it. What I say about women, and I'm, I'm delighted about the Me Too piece, because it does allow people to speak out. But we have to have a bigger message than that. Women have power. Mm -hmm. Sherry said it. Women have power. Chetney has said it. What we don't need is male leaders or male uh, CEOs or male trade union leaders or whatever institution to tell women they can have power. We need to make sure that women's voices are heard. And mentoring is part of that. But it's also about uh, not just mentoring and therefore being, you know, somehow working uh, uh, for, it's working with, actually standing with, working with. And so my privileged job, I can go anywhere in the world. I have a family. I can walk into workplaces. I can talk to communities and families about the world of work. And the, and the joy of that is when you actually stand with people who want it, and women particularly want to change their lives, then that is a better mentoring approach than all the lessons you can give them about, you know. You know Sharon, just, what I just want to say... Look, President I, Trump is not necessarily a typical man either. I, I, I refuse. I'm a mother of one daughter and three sons, and I refuse to accept that President Trump's attitudes towards women reflect what decent men think. And because, even... because I know for my sons, and particularly for millennials, that they actually do accept women as equals, that they respect their mothers and their sisters. So you don't think it's locker room talk, Sheree? You don't agree with that statement? No, and actually, I would like to say that <laughs> the role... As when you spoke about the role model, I would... We, we celebrate men who share their property with women. Yeah. We bring them on stage. Yeah and we celebrate them because they are sharing the property, ownership of property. Yes. So why don't we create those role models who invest in their daughter's education? Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.